Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today we have the HPI Racing. This is their Crawler King. It's the 1979 Ford F-150 Ranger Lariat. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these from us at OMGRC.com. Did run this thing on a 2S LiPo. I did switch out the motor. And we'll talk about that more at the end of the video. But for now, check this thing out. This thing's pretty quick. We'll have to do some kind of speed run with it to see how fast it goes in another video. But for now, check it out. That's a crawler. <laughs> Are you actually want to have a quick race? Yeah. The girl and you. Yeah. That's a dress. I don't know. I just think it's funny with this one. I'll run you over. <laughs> like I'm doing. There you go. Why does the body look like it's planted? Ah, uh, because of the torque. <laughs> Alright, so I want to let you guys know too, HPI, we are going to be getting a lot of parts in. I'm talking thousands and thousands of parts. So if by chance you're looking for parts, keep an eye on omgrc.com because we're going to have a lot of stuff coming back into stock. So keep an eye out on that one. And also, sign up for our newsletter. Why? Because we're going to have a bunch of Black Friday deals going on. So keep an eye out for that email when it comes out. So if you're not already subscribed, you want to go ahead and go over to our website, omgrc.com. Go down to the very bottom of our website, and you can sign up for our newsletter. Anyway, let's get into this vehicle as far as what I did. So here is the stock motor. It's a 55 turn 540 motor with a 21 tooth pinion gear. It's 48 pitch. Went ahead, put the Traxxas motor in there. So we got ourselves the Titan 12 turn 550 motor. So it's a little bit bigger motor. Still running on 2S. We got our 2S LiPo that's here. We got our Power Hobbies. I'll put a link in the description below for these, but we do carry Power Hobbies anyhow. And they seem to be pretty good bat batteries anyhow because um, they didn't send them to me or anything like that. It's just stuff that I sell. So I just figured I'd give it a try. Let you guys know in regards to it. So there you go, 7.4 volt, 50C discharge. Let's take a look at what's underneath this setup that I have going on. And uh, so I got a hot racing uh, heat sink that's in here, and we do sell hot racing as well. So if you're looking for all those little bits and pieces as far as even RPM stuff, got it. But for now, um, yeah, this is this thing should keep it pretty cool. I gotta, I gotta keep an eye on it anyhow, but it's got a 33 tooth pinion gear that's in here. Again, 48 pitch. I don't know what the spur gear is, probably like a 90 something. It's really big spur gear that's in there. Kind of see it in there. But I don't know what it is, so if you guys want to leave a comment down below, uh, you can inform people on that one because I'm right at the point. I don't know what it was. So, um, yeah, I'm going to guess this thing probably does over 20 plus miles an hour. Why? Because we know the jump shot. It only did 16 miles an hour and it was pretty slow. This thing's definitely moving quicker. And. It's not, I like it. I mean, as far as why I chose this truck, anyhow, I wanted for the rock crawling. I like the tires that were on it, and it just looked like a pretty fun vehicle. And this also is like the same platform as the Wheelie King. So if you guys have one of the Wheelie Kings, you know, you probably already kind of dabbled with making it maybe a little bit quicker, or whatever, but it's the same platform, same exact size. 
and but they call it a 112 scale but it's the same size chassis so I'm, it's just because they're trying to go by scale HPI is on that one now it's got some different connectors that are on here because I went with I think it had this a Tamiya connection yeah it did have a Tamiya connection that was on there chopped that thing off there put an XT60 on it but some of my batteries don't have XT60s or 90s so they still have the old to me a connection so that's why I reference this one so if you're looking for something identical that you're not going to solder then you'd want to look for one that has a to me a connection or buy yourself an adapter but I would really say get rid of the to me a connection and have one soldered on either you do it yourself or if take it somewhere just these are just a better connection um, even if it's just a Dean connection like one of these it's better than the Tamiya ones by far but um, yeah, if you guys want to let, if you guys want to know how fast this thing goes, leave a comment down below. So yeah, man, I'd like to do it because I'm gonna probably do it anyhow because I'm already curious anyway to see how fast this thing goes. Now, some of you guys are gonna be saying like, oh, well, that's gonna limit you know its you know crawling ability. It will, but for me, I'm in Florida. It's pretty much flat land, so there's not a lot of stuff to crawl over. So it's just fun to take a crawler, make it faster. And still be able to crawl over stuff it still can crawl and it did go down like through the ditches and stuff like that but um, it's gonna have a lot more wheel speed now so we'll see how it all works but again I don't have any rocks to crawl on other than some <laughs> chopped up concrete or whatever but anyway don't want to make this too long of a video I just want to kind of let you guys know in regards to all the Black Friday stuff that was going on that um, so we're gonna have those deals on certain products as well but all that stuff will be uh, listed in the email once it comes out so that thing should be coming out here soon. But yeah, I definitely dig this thing. This is cool. Um, they do have like the F-150 as well. I don't believe that one is in stock at this point in time, but that's gonna be something that it, it should come back into stock. But um, yeah, I like this truck. You can get, throw your own body on there if you don't like it. You know, it's all good. But I definitely dig this vehicle. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Anyhow, let me know what you thought of this video. And uh, also, again, sign up for our newsletter at omgrc.com. I'll catch you in the next video. You guys take care, and thank you again for watching.